Today we're going to talk about the perfect routine for sensitive skin. Hi everyone, Manuela Mercajani from Isomers Laboratories and I'm a cosmetic chemist with over 30 years experience in uh, product development, formulations, creating skin care and today we want to talk about formulas for sensitive skin, what happens, what the needs are for sensitive skin and just some of the call outs that really help well, maybe help manage your sensitive skin better. So how do you take care of sensitive skin? What is sensitive skin? Well, when you have sensitive skin, you may have redness, you may have irritation, you may have dryness. You may find that even just putting water, and I used to have that too, just putting water on your, on your face would burn or irritate, you get breakout. So it's like skin that's angry, it's reactive, it, you never really know what it's gonna do. Sensitive skin is something that we need to be aware of. Why do we get sensitive skin? Well, sometimes it's genetic, sometimes it's what we eat. Sometimes we just pay too much attention to our skin. We're doing too many good things and the skin becomes sensitive, like over cleansing. If we cleanse too harshly, if we cleanse too much, we could be stripping that acid mantle. We could be inviting more bad bacteria than good bacteria on our skin surface. And so the skin will become much more sensitive. Sometimes too, using a lot of harsh chemicals on the skin or a lot of active ingredients or some tools or overstimulating your skin can also lead to sensitivity on the skin. So be aware of these things. Fragrance is another one that also leads to a lot of sensitivity on the skin as well. What I like to call out or I you know, really focus on for a good skincare routine for sensitive skin is looking at these four steps. First of all, your cleansing. Here we've picked the double duty cleanser. Again, this is a cream cleanser. This is a cleanser that is going to hydrate. It's going to calm the skin. It's going to clean the skin, removing the dirt, the oils, the buildup of the day, maybe some of that makeup as well. But it's not going to strip your acid mantle. And that's really important with sensitive skin. You don't want to play with the pH of your skin. You want to keep it acidic. You want to keep the good bacteria uh, there and the bad bacteria in check. Other ingredients to look for, for with sensitive skin, we highly, highly recommend trace minerals, especially our copper peptide concentrate. Copper peptides, especially blended with zinc and magnesium, these are really important ingredients for a healthy skin barrier and keeping the skin calm. So the trace minerals in the copper peptide really calm the skin down, bring the right amount of uh, you know, protection and calming and soothing elements. So that's something to look for, something with zinc, something with copper peptides, something that's going to give a mineral balance to the skin. Another thing to really consider with sensitive skin, especially if you've got sensitive skin, it's red, it's flaky, you really need to boost the ceramides. Your ceramides tend to be depleted. And think about ceramides, well think of a brick wall. So you have bricks and you have mortar right? Or you have tile and you have grout, right? This is what the ceramide is. It is what is holding those skin cells together. So if you don't have enough ceramide, if it's not uh, enough there to protect the barrier function of the skin and, and reduce that transepidermal water loss, I mean, it always ends up at that area. What will happen is your skin will tend to get flaky and it'll become much more vulnerable. So ceramides are super important. They're called sphingolipids. Blending and knowing your ceramides are very important as well. So always have some ceramide, especially if you've got sensitive skin. And then finally, uh, you wanna put a cream on. So what we have here is we've got a cleanser, Okay, you're going to be cleaning your skin. Then we have some serums, and these serums, one is more of a water-based serum with the copper trace minerals to really calm the skin, bring in hydration. Then you have a ceramide, sphingolipid. It's a little bit of a fat. That's also going to help with the adhesion of the corneocytes. It's going to help with your cells, and it's going to help with your skin barrier. And finally, I love our triactive microbiome. This has prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic. This is all about a health healthy living layer of your skin, the healthy environment. When your skin on the surface is hydrated, when you've protected the barrier function, when you're feeding the good bacteria, your skin goes into a better healing mode, calms down, 
gets less red and sensitive and becomes less irritable. So it's much more in balance. I hope you've enjoyed our walk around or walk through sensitive skin, the do's and the don'ts. And if you have comments or questions, please, uh, we'll read them below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we look forward to talking to you again soon.